If you ever need to send mail to the contacts inside of your Access database, it's really easy to do. All you need, of course, is a table set up with your contacts and possibly a letter already set up in Word. Now, we have the customers table here inside of the Northwind database, and I'm going to be using that. So, I've got my customers table highlighted here in my navigation pane, and in my external data tab of the ribbon, I'm going to come over here to the right-hand side to Word Merge. I'll go ahead and click on that, and it's asking if I have an existing document or if I want to create a new one. Well, let's say that I do have a document that already exists. So I'll click on OK, and then I just need to find that document. Now, my document opens up here in Word, and I'll make it a little bit bigger so you can see it better. And it opens up in Word in Word Merge. I can tell because I've got the Word Merge pane over here on the right-hand side, and my Mailings tab is open in my ribbon. Now, this is using the Mail Merge wizard, and it's already started. It's already on step two. So the next step is step three of six. But taking a look up here at the top, it's asking me to select the recipients. Well, yes, I want to use an existing list, and it's already picked out for me the customer's table inside of my database. So I'll go ahead and click on Next to write my letter. Now I just need to pull in the fields that I want to use for the letter. So what I'll do in the document is to get rid of this section here. And then in the Mail Merge, I'll click on Address Block. And I have an example here. It's already pulling the information from Access. And I can see that here in the preview. Over here on the left-hand side, I can pick how I want the name to be displayed. So if Anna had a middle initial, I would choose this one if I want it displayed. If I just want to see Anna's first name, I can choose Joshua, and you see it just gives me Anna. If I wanted to choose an abbreviation for Anna's name, I could choose Josh. There's a lot of different examples here. If I had the title, I could choose Mr. and it would bring in Ms. I don't have the title here in the database. So you would just go through and pick how you want the name displayed. Whether or not you want to insert the company name, there's company A. You'll see I can uncheck that and it goes away. And you can choose whether or not you want to include the country or the region inside of the address. Now I always like to click through to make sure I'm looking at the right data and it looks like I am. And then I like to match fields. I'll go ahead and click on match fields. And this is to make sure that Word is correctly matching up or mapping the fields that I have in Access. So first name, yes, that equals first name inside of Access. I don't have a suffix. Everything seems to be matched up here. I don't have an address line to inside of Access. Here's all the information from Access here. City is there. It says state has not been matched. Okay, let me click on the drop down. And that is the state province field inside of Access. See, Word is just looking for state, but in Access it is state slash province. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And then it will be matched up. Scroll down a bit to see if I need any additional information, and I don't, but there's a job title if I wanted to put that in here, or an email address, but everything looks good. I now have my state matched up, everything else is fine, so I'll go ahead and click on OK. All right, now I have the state, so let me go ahead and click on OK. And there's my address block. Now it comes in right now kind of like just a placeholder or almost like code. But if I wanted to preview the results up here in the ribbon, I can click on preview results. It looks good. I can uncheck that. It's taking me back to the address block. All right, so now here I've got dear recipient. I'll take out recipient. And then I can insert a merged field. I just want to have their first name in there. So I'll go up to the top into my ribbon and I'll click on Insert Merged Field, and I want to bring in their first name. All right, and then at this point, I can go ahead and start typing in my letter. If there was anything else that I had to put in here, any other merged field, again, up at the top, it's Insert Merged Field. Maybe I want to put in, I'm so glad that your company, comma, and then the name of the company. So let me show you that. I am so glad that and then I can put in the name of the company, has decided to dot 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 whatever it was they decided to do. All right, let me go ahead and preview the results again. 
So you can see, I am so glad that company D, I can go through company E, company F, company G, I'm so glad that company H has decided to, and then whatever else it needs to be. All right, so that looks good. I'll come down here to the next step. Again, it's preview your letters. I'm actually already doing that, but I'll go ahead and go to the next step. Again, it looks good. If I don't want to add in one of these recipients, I can always choose to exclude this recipient. Right now I'm on number eight, which is Elizabeth Anderson. Maybe she doesn't get a letter, so I can go ahead and click on that. Or if there's multiple recipients that I don't want to bring in, I can click on edit recipient list. And there's a little checkbox here, so I can choose to uncheck the recipients that I don't want to have a letter. All right, I'll click on OK and head on to the next step, which is to complete the merge. So I can either click on print from here and send all of these over to the printer, or if I want to make it maybe even a little bit more personal or add in something specific to certain letters, I can go to edit individual letters, and I can say, okay, edit all of them, just the current one, or I can say maybe letters one through eight. I'm gonna go ahead and say all and click on okay. There we go. So in a new window, I now have all of my different customers showing up on individual pages. So I can go in again and customize this a little bit more. All right, I'll go ahead and close this. So using Mail Merge with Access is really easy. It's just a matter of going to the External Data tab and clicking on Word Merge. It actually brings you into the Mail Merge wizard and it takes you to step number three already, so you're just about halfway there.